Hello. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little late. Sorry. Um, I've been running behind a bit behind schedule today, mainly because of my own fault. I, although I did have a little bit of trouble with OBS earlier. But anyway, hi, welcome. Welcome back to Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed 2, because I am crazy as fuck. But anyway, <laughs> um, yes. So I'm still currently setting up some stuff uh, that I need to, that I make sure that I have on hand in case I need them. Um, so bear with me a moment. Is this what I'm looking for? Yes, this is what I'm looking for. Okay. So um, how is everybody? Well, I think there's only one person watching currently, which may be me. I'm not sure. Um... Give me a moment to actually, now that I think about it, I should post on Twitter, on uh, Instagram, shouldn't I? Since I have a second and nobody else is here. Uh, photo. And not a selfie. There we go. And next. And join me for my, oops, for my... That's not how you spell my. Why am I having such a trouble to spell a two-letter word? Twitch stream. Starting now. Uh, I'm playing. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nope, that's not a hashtag. There we go. Hashtag Assassin's Creed 2. No, I don't want it to always share to Facebook. Um, I've already posted to Twitter and that. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, let me quickly do a story. Not a live. A story. There we go. Oh, I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties over here. Come on. Uh oh. No, no. Don't crash. There we go. No, that didn't do it. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> Excuse me while I see why things are not working. <sighs> okay. I seem to be coming through all right. Um, because that's still, that is still working. Um, oh, I have that muted in the wrong way. Oops. Uh, that could potentially be bad later. Okay, so that's responding now. There we go, there we go. I just had a bunch of stuff that was suddenly deciding it didn't want to respond. That's never a good sign, or at least rarely a good sign. Um, okay, so... <clears throat> Thank you for bearing with me. I, uh, <laughs> I have, like I said, I've been, normally this is a bunch of stuff that I do, you know, like 10 minutes ahead of time, but I've been running it, I've been running behind schedule a little bit. Make sure to take a second and hydrate. Um, I've been bad. That's my first drink of water I've had all day, but again, behind schedule. Um, I know it doesn't look like water. I, I put a little bit of flavoring in it, and it's just, it's literally just flavoring. But anyway, um, like it sugar free. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, make sure to take a second, hydrate a bit, stretch your back, shoulders, and your neck, relax your jaw, and whatever you're, uh, or whatever else you're clutching, current, currently clutch, currently clutch clen clench clenching clenching that's the word clenching i'm sorry <laughs> this is this is the day i'm going to be having probably apparently anyway something i've been forgetting to say is i now have nightbot in the twitch chat um and so if you want to do like the exclamation mark commands to see what's available go for it um i have a list of things um i've already sent them in the t chat once but you know whatever um, uh, 
and uh, yeah, okay, so that's all working now. Let me let me check the actual Twitch stream before. I never actually got around to posting that that story, that Instagram story. Oh well, it's fine. Uh, let me actually check the. Will it let me? Thousand dollar question. Will it let me actually view my own stream? I've done it before. Will it let me? There we go. Thousand dollar question. Ooh, will it ooh, let me too loud. Too loud. Too loud. Too loud. Though now let me open the game so that audio is coming through. Audio coming through is important. I apologize if there's a looping. I'm going to actually mute myself. Well, no, I'm not going to mute myself because um, it helps if I can actually hear. So bear with the looping. Okay, uh, that seems to be going well. So, oh, I've been disconnected from chat on this thing. Why have I been disconnected from chat on my phone? Why, why do I need to restart Twitch? I think I need to restart Twitch on my phone. Okay, so anyway, hi again. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for this. I am really sorry for this. Um, okay, so you may notice that I'm currently in Florence, and you may remember from the last time... Well, we were actually, we had a mission here. Um, we were over here. Like, actually, I think we were right here when I left off. But you may notice that I'm on the opposite side of the city. Um, and the reason for that is because I... Ah, welcome! I have another viewer. And although that might also just be my phone registering itself as a second viewer. I don't know. If you're another viewer, please comment in the chat. Please, please. Welcome, welcome. Um, anyway, let me do... Something. Oops, when I posted that Instagram thing, I did not include a link to my Discord, or to my, to my Discord, my Twitch, because I am an idiot. Uh, okay. Can I just start up edit? I can. Okay. Um, and so I need to, uh, it's faster if I just type it out, maybe. Twitch.tv slash crimson crimson night yep oh, come on I had it crimson night gaming right that is correct correct that is correct yay <laughs> I remembered my own twitch name um there we go that should do it please should potentially hopefully nope did not okay come on come on instagram do what i need you to do do we need to add the i think i probably need to add that okay that's that's fair you're wrong no i'm not using your wrong Eh, whatever. People can figure it out. They're not idiots. Um, connected to chat. There we go. Okay. <sighs> okay. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da what was it? Anyway, so, yeah, last time we were here, we were down here doing this mission. About to do this mission when I left off. Um, what I've been doing since is I actually went around, I collected all the collectibles in the area. Except for... Let me refresh my memory which one I did not collect. Ah, yes, I did not collect one of the glyphs. Um, I collected all the feathers and all of the treasure chests. In fact, if you look, you if you remember, I have purchased the treasure chest map for all three of these districts. And I have, uh, as you can see, collected them, so they're no longer available. You can also see that I have collected codex pieces, all the codex pieces that were available on the screen, um, they are no longer available. I collected them. I did not get them translated, because what I figure is uh, I'll leave the story-related things 
for in game. So like I'll collect the things, but I just won't like I'll collect the money, but I won't spend it uh, except for in game. Um, I'll collect the feathers, but I won't turn them in except for in stream, and I won't collect the the glyphs in uh, outside of stream. Uh, things like that, you know, things that have some level of story to them within the thing or completion that rec that it recognizes, things like that, I will do in stream. Um, so I went around and found the other, the last glyph I have to get in Florence. That's down there. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna hit that first, and then I'm gonna hit uh, Leonardo to get those uh, codex pages translated, um, and then I will. Trying to think if there was something else that I wanted to do before. Oh, 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 oh. How's how's my money looking? I did buy some stuff, but nothing major. Um, if depending on when we get back to Monteregioni, I'll do a walkthrough. I bought some paintings. I bought some paintings. Um, and uh, so you know. Uh. I bought some paintings, so I'll go through and show those off. Um. Um, I did, but I have enough uh, florins that I can actually buy some other things. Like I, I think I can buy some weapons and stuff. Uh, that's not the button I meant to push, Ezio. Come on. All right. Um, and that's again not the, not the button I wanted to push. <sighs> okay. All right. So we'll hit this. We'll hit this glyph. Take care of that. Then we'll come over here. Get Leonardo to to, to code the things. Then we'll hit up some shops. Pick up some things that I may need to get here, like armor and stuff. Like I did check. There's a couple of there's a couple of up, upgraded, next level piece of pieces of armor and stuff and weapons and stuff that I can pick up now a bit earlier. Uh, then. That's not the word I was going for. Uh. Not earlier, but um, a bit. Um, what is the word I'm going? What is the word I'm looking for? A bit. Uh... I'm sorry. I'm completely blanking on this word. Um. I. I am. I. I deeply apologize because I am severely blanking on this word. Um, I scouted ahead a bit. I didn't buy anything, but I looked ahead to see what else is in there. I think is what I'm trying to say. I don't remember because my brain just like straight up poofed. So I'm sorry. Anyway, so yeah, we'll hit the glyph, then Leonardo's, and then the stores. We'll do some shopping. Do some shopping. And then we will... Um, Go down and hit the mission. And the next time we're in Monteregioni, I'll show you show off the paintings that I did get off stream. Um, and uh, I will then also... Oh, I should mute my phone, too. That's probably a good idea, so you, don't, you guys aren't hearing my notifications and stuff. Um, there's also a couple of things I need that I need to... Tr that will not need to, but I want to try. I don't know if they're available yet. Um, in fact, I'm near one of them, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if it's available, um, and then it's either, it's either up there or it's, or down here. Either way, it's kind of in route. It's, it's either near where we are or in route to Leonardo, so I'll try it then, if I think about it. Um, or it's over here. Um, but over here is the glyph. I know that for, for, for a fact. Um, anyway. Uh, I don't know if I can do those yet, but I'll, I'll get to them eventually, if not. Um, so yeah, Glyph, the thing I want to try to see if, I, if they're ready, uh, then Leonardo, and then Mission. And then whenever we get back to Monteregioni, I will show you the paintings that I got before, which increased the amount of money that I can earn in-game. Um, um, okay. Yeah, that's it. That's um. Oh, oh, oh! I was going to prove. I was going to prove the progress I'd made. So, like, if we look at the at the DNA strands, stop it, stop it. Okay. If we look at the DNA strands, completed sequence one, sequence two, sequence three. We're currently on sequence four, and then we go into the secondary memories. Um, 
right here. Viewpoints, 23 out of 73. I've gotten all the viewpoints in Florence. Um, I've gotten a couple, one or two in Tuscany. I don't think I have them all. Uh, my next my next task in, for off stream is to go through Tuscany and clear it of collectibles. Um, and and work on Monte Regioni. Um, I will be all, I will also be upgrading Monte Regioni a little bit if I have the money for it when we get back to Monte Regioni. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, um, I will, Monte Regioni upgrades are another thing that I will be saving for in stream um, because again it's a little bit more story based than just collectibles. Um, anyway, so viewpoints collected, feathers thirty one out of a hundred. If you go into, hold on. If you go in, you can actually see where they are. Um, I actually have 20 out of 27 uh, viewpoints of Florence, and that's because there's a whole district of Florence that you can't get to until much later in the game. It's the southern portion across the river. You can get there uh, through a DLC that you get in Assassin's Creed 2. Um, it's not available in the basic game. I don't... I don't remember how it worked, because uh, it was early in story DLC type stuff. But like from my remembering, you can't actually get down there um, until much later in the game. Um, anyway, so 20 out of 27 viewpoints. Uh, one in Monte Regioni, two out of nine in Tuscany. That I remembered right uh, that I had that it's grabbed some in Tuscany, but not all of them. Um, and then up here in Feathers, we've got 27 out of 27 in Florence. Um, if you look at this, if you go into it, it even divides them by sequ uh, by uh, district, and you can see that there's not a fourth district listed because by the in the timeline, by the point that Ezio would be going to the southern district of uh, Florence, he would be he would have already collected all 100 feathers. Um, I think it's 100. I'm pretty sure it's 100. Um, he would have collected all the feathers already, and so that's not a uh, so that so they're not there so it's not listed um and then there's four out of four in monte regioni um and zero out of 11 in tuscany like i said i will be doing that um and then these are various side missions uh we've only had one beaten one beat up mission side mission um which we've completed we've had uh there's a couple of races um, one I have not, I have obviously not activated yet. Um, I don't remember if it's on, on available on my menu. I don't think so. I think it's soon, but you, but you can see that I've done a, a couple of races already, which I've done in stream. Um, but I don't, anyway, th this next race will be available eventually. Um, courier mission, I've, there's one that I have that's coming, but, etc. Uh, and then Casanova, the guy who was cheating on, like, three girls with each other, had you deliver their mail, their, the mail for them. And then 71 out of 71 treasures in Florence, 9 out of 27 in Monte Regioni, 4 out of 46 in Tuscany. Um, so, you know, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, yeah, 100 feathers. Anyway. All right. Enough preamble. Time to actually get into it. Um, so yeah, first things first, we were going to go get that glitch. Um, and then, oop, Ezio. Ezio, get off the wall. I know I looked, I know I took my eyes off the road. That doesn't mean that you can climb up a wall. Um, um, trying to think of general announcements. Um... Oops. I'm sorry, man. That was not cool of me. Oh, look. Shops. Um... Yeah, I can't think of any announcements. Well, I can think of a couple, but I have them. I, I'll tell them later at this... Eh, I can start talking about them now. Okay, so... Ah, there it is, right in front of me. Okay. Um... So... Um, last week I mentioned that I was going to be starting a second day of streaming. Um, it will not be Assassin's Creed, but it will be Tomb Raider. I had a poll for it and what day and stuff. Um, and, uh, 
Yeah, so tomorrow afternoon, Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday the 13th of October at 6 p.m., um, I will be starting my uh, weekly Tomb Raider streams where I will be playing through all of the Tomb Raider games, like all of them. Um, and, uh, brain, um, the, uh, I'm, I'll be starting with the classic Tomb Raider from 1996, um, Tomb Raider 1, the original, the first, um, it will be, uh, I, I, I was struggling to get it to work, but I finally figured out a way to get it to work well and to actually work with OBS. Um, and I got it to, and I got it to work with a controller, so that that's happy day, um, because the PC keyboard controls are weird. Um, anyway, so the uh, thinking, thinking, thinking. So yeah, join me tomorrow. It's six, it's like six p.m. Uh, I know it's later than this one, but that was by popular request, essentially. Um, the uh, Oh, I know. I just realized something I didn't do, or did I? I did not. Oops. All right, um, but yeah, so I'll be doing that. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I actually don't. I don't know how many. I'll only be going for two hours, uh, like this one. I don't want to go much later than eight o'clock. Um, eight, eight, eight thirty. Um, you know, it's potentially late because uh, it'll be if it's eight thirty here, it'd be nine thirty on the East Coast and etc. Anyway. Um, so the uh so that will be happening tomorrow um the time is subject to change as i figure out ways to work it in uh, how to work it into my overall schedule of life and everything um so we're trying it at six and we'll see how it works um and how it works with the future and stuff so uh don't just like so mark it for six and then pay attention to like my social medias and or my discord or here for more information um all right so first plucked from a, from a tree guarded by a snake its powers perform miracles then worn across the ages torn asunder hidden under a sea of red reconstruct the timeline so not so i think that means that not only do i have to get these that get the correct images but i have to get them in the correct order if i remember correctly i can ask for advice but that only pops up because I've been sitting here for a while staring at this. Um, okay, so. All right, so first off, let's let's decipher the riddle. I um, First plucked from a tree guarded by a snake. Um, Assassin's Creed deals with a lot of religious mythology um, in general, and their favorite thing especially is... Uh, the the not favorite thing their their most blatant thing is the apple of eden which is what they call those pieces of eden thing the 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 sphere piece of eden is the one of at least one of them is the apple of eden if not all of them are apples of eden um so like there's a sword that's a piece of eden there's um i think there's a shield i don't remember if there's a shield or not but there's like a cloak or something i forget if i forget what they call it uh shroud shroud of eden sword of eden um, spear, th their staff, uh, piece, um, they're all pieces of Eden, and then there's, uh, the apples that are the spheres, which are the only ones we've seen other than in reference in these glitches. Um, so they're talking about plucked from a tree guard by a snake. That would be not just, there's only, as far as I'm aware, there's only really one tree that's guarded by a snake in mythology, in, in various mythologies. Um, actually, no, that, uh, that's probably not true. Uh, and given the fact that there tends to be common themes between mytho mythological stories, 
Um, I would not be surprised if other if they were all similar. Um, but in the one that they're specifically referencing, the most famous one is of course in reference to the pieces of Eden is of course the tr Garden of Eden and the Tree of Knowledge of Good and Evil, which is supposed uh, which is often the fruit of that tree is often characterized as an apple, even though it probably wasn't. Um, in fact. I'm pretty sure we know it wasn't. I don't remember if we know what if we believe we know what it, it what it was specifically, but it's characterized as an apple. Um, so it's talking about an apple first plucked from a tree, guarded by a snake. Apple. Uh, it's pow it power it apple of Eden specifically. Its powers perform miracles, then worn worn across the ages, torn asunder, hidden under a sea of red, uh, red sea reconstruct the timeline okay so first picture is a tree guarded by a snake with an apple of eden all right uh so no um maybe possibly jason jason greece prehistory possibly there's a snake in a tree um there's that there's henry the eighth jesus christ in jerusalem henry the eighth uh david and goliath um hmm. anyway uh christ disrobed uh jean, jean paul marat um who is in, in a later game you actually i believe you actually try to dis, to uh you actually encounter this and you try to solve this murder or something i don't remember i remember i remember this guy dying in a bathtub and i don't remember if that's supposed to be this guy or someone else anyway uh prometheus greek history there's a tree but no snake instead there is birds eating his intestines uh hannibal saint francis Bo of uh saint francis borgia spain 1560 uh, 1566 yeah okay i think this is the one all right its powers perform miracles um probably that one um fifteen six six that's b c e prehistory seventeen hundred Circa 30. Yeah. Okay, so I think this one's next. Maybe. Yeah, I think this one's next. Um, wait. Then this one. And this one? No. Oh. You're fifteen thirty, you're fifteen okay, so you you you? Oh come on. Nope. Hmm. This one seems to have something to do with what they're wearing. Look, Jesus appears twice. He must have something to do with it. Oh. I was thinking too deep. It's about the red. in the right order oh i don't have it in the right order lol david and goliath came before jesus there's nothing red in that this dude's naked dude oh maybe him Nope. Okay, so... Jesus is wearing red there. 
wearing red there. He's got red on. Oh, I think this one's about the shroud. Um, uh, maybe. Okay, hold on. What year was this? 970 BCE. And then this one was 202. This one was 30. This one was 30. So that one and that one. Oops, 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 oops. No. Um. Oh, I forgot. That's still later. Uh, okay, so you're first. Then maybe you. Then you, then you, then you. No, okay. Um, 1793, 1530. Okay, it's definitely you. Then you. Oh. Let's try let's try that one. Then that one. Then that one. That one. Then that one. There we go. I forgot that Hey, welcome uh welcome blue. Yeah, blue da ba dee da ba die. I do not apologize for that. Anyway, welcome. <laughs> yep. Uh, so the reason that that specific thing took so long was because I completely forgot that Jason is uh, historically famous in Greece, in Greek history, in Greek mythology for um, the Golden Fleece, which is a shroud of sorts. I can use your name, but that doesn't mean I want to. Because if I use your name, that means I can't do the blue dabba dee dabba die. I mean, I probably will use your name, Howie, but still. <laughs> I just spent way too long figuring out a very obvious thing because I was overcomplicating it in my head. <laughs> so how was work? Oh, well, I didn't get hurt. That's cool. Oh, yeah, so... No work today. Hey! Cool, cool. So then you've just been chilling? Why are you here? Check it out. I'm here because I want to be. Bite me. And because you can't catch me. Na 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 na. Ooh. Well, that hurt. Uh, stealing blueprints from YouTube for Factorio? Lol. Instead of importing... Oh! Hello. Come back here. Ezio, get up. Oh, that went well, Ezio. Come on. Instead of important, you're building them yourself. Hey, that's cool. That's clever. Um. Stay away from me. Hey, bruh. Come back here. I want your money. In fact, I want my money, because technically you're supposed to have picked my pocket. Whoa, whoa. You have me. Take it back. But grant me mercy, please. Sure. I mean, I could kill you, but and I don't think it would punish me, but I will not. Actually, I, actually, I think technically you are innocent, innocent civilian, so I won't kill you. Anyway, um, shamelessly ripping off designs, just basically ty uh, typing it out instead of copy pasting. Yeah, I mean that. It's. I mean, you're still put essentially putting in the work without, you know, being creative. Thanks for letting uh, for catching me, man. Um. So I mean it's it's not exactly shameless. <laughs> you look strong it's more it, it's less sh it's more shameful than um It's more it's more it's not quite to the level of if I went online and googled uh the solution to the glyph puzzles even that I couldn't remember. 
Um, it's not quite that bad, but it is better than just. Uh, but it is worse than. Um, oh, hello. Uh, it is worse than uh, just straight up uh, figuring out your own self. All right. Let me go ahead and get these because I said I would, and I can get that. Though I still want that. Oh, I, that's right. I cannot actually change my equipment in these things. That's next game. Okay, I have those. I'm full on that. Please come okay. back anytime. So I got a new new shoulder armor pieces. Cool, cool. Um, but yeah, basically it's a it's a. I wouldn't necessarily call it a sweet spot, cause, but even though that was my intention, but it's a, uh, it might, not my intention, my first instinct uh, to call it a sweet spot. But it's a uh, happy middle between full-on cheating and uh, beating your head against the wall while you try to figure it out yourself. Okay, so this is not what I thought it was. So then that means... What I'm looking for is over here. How's Yvonne doing? I chatted with her a little bit on Facebook earlier. I know she's been having a... Well, I think she's been having a, couple, a rough couple of days. But I don't know how long ago she said something about that. Watch out, guys. Because there's something in. Pouches. Anything I can get? I am short 3,000. Of course I am. Um, I, I could. I could go fully on brand, but I won't. Yeah, time, then. yeah and, and that comes with the uh, sweet spot between... Uh, essentially what you're doing is you're learning from other people who have already figured it out. And then taking what they did and teaching yourself so that potentially you can build off of it and make it better. Or at least figure out things that work better for you. Etc, etc, etc. That's fair. Tell her I love her and give her a big hug for me, please. Adieu, <laughs> Oh, shoot! You just spawned right out of nowhere, man. Hey, I got money in the villa, at the villa. I can pick that up eventually. Um, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. It's shiny. Does that mean I can interact with it? Memory not available currently. Okay, okay. So, that's what I was... That was the thing I wanted to try. Uh, that means I can't access it right now. I mentioned it earlier before uh, Howie popped in. Um, I wanted... I couldn't remember when the tombs become active. So I wanted to uh, see if... Oh, this is one of those tombs. Um, the assassin tombs. Um, it was a thing I wanted... I couldn't remember when they become active. Um, and I wanted to try... I wanted to see if they were already active. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember where I am. Sure, it's one of them. It's one of those ones. It's one of the early ones you can get in Florence. Um, but, yeah, I couldn't remember when they get, when they became active, so I wanted to check to confirm. Um, and the uh, it says unavailable. That means I can't do it right now. It... From the map it is? Okay. Um, I just wasn't... I, it doesn't say the name, so I couldn't remember the name for sure. It probably popped up as I approached, because I think that's a place that has a, that's a it's one of those uh, places that Sean would be like, "Hey, check this out," type of thing. Um, okay, so I hold on. Do I need to? Did I already? No. Okay. I'm not out of pocket, I just just busy. Leonardo. Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha! You found another one. I found more than one. I found like four or five. 
I Ish. just have to substitute this letter and move this over there. I've got it. I tell you what, Howie, I am super psyched. Um, <coughs> Kipo season three comes out today on Netflix. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm apparently choking on the water I just tried to drink. <coughs> Um, um, Kipo, oh fuck, I forget what it's called, um, let me quickly look it up, I just got a reminder about it from Netflix, um, if it's not a show you've seen, you should, oh, it's, uh, it's called Kipo and the Age of Wonder Beasts, um, Kipo, K-I-P-O, um, it's, it's great, um, It's it's pretty great. Uh, her third season just came out is coming out today or has just came out today or something. I don't remember. It today third season basically, and I'm psyched. Um, so I can. Uh, I'm also psyched because the uh, a new season of Carmen San Diego, the new Carmen San Diego series on Netflix came out recently. As well as I realized that the fourth season of Good Place is out now. Basically, there's a lot of shows that I have uh, that I can now that I'm that are now out with new content that I am psyched for. Essentially. Ah, don't be shy. I only aim to hear. Ah, the, yeah, yeah, um, The Good Place is really good, it can, uh, it, in my opinion, it got a little tedious in a couple of places, but so far, uh, like, I'm about, I want to say halfway through the most recent season, um, yeah, see, I don't remember if it was season two or season three that got tedious to me, but, um, wrong button, follow me. But, uh, it got a little fast. tedious for me in places, you can keep up? but so far, no the most recent season has been, uh, has been amazing. And I think it's their final. It's either their final or penultimate, I don't remember. Alright, so I have to meet La Volpe at the Santa Maria Novella. Oh, I think they are actually about to activate the tombs, because I think this is the first tomb, or connects to the first tomb or something. I don't remember. We'll find out. All right, all right, Volpe, I'm coming. Let me read the Volpe. There is birth, <laughs> date of birth, question mark, profession, thief. There is almost no trace of La Volpe in the history books. The name's obviously a pseudonym, but for whom is anyone's guess? What small data is available seems to be almost mythical. La Volpe is reported to have robbed the Pope's carriage without any of his guards noticing. Damn! That's some skills, man. Including the Pope! Damn! Who was sitting right inside the carriage. Damn! One night in 1467, he was seen on the rooftops in the Palazzo del, della Signoria, the Palazzo Medici, and Santa Cro Cro Croce, I think? Um, all at the same time. Damn, all at the same time. Some claim that he's immortal, never aging, while others say that his violet eyes can see through buildings, perusing the contents inside. Damn. Man, I kind of want my, like, I wish I had that kind of a, a post-mortem legacy type of a thing. Like, I want to be a cryptid, basically. <laughs> what are you doing back there? I said to keep up with me. Well, I mean, <laughs> I caught up to you for a good hour before you actually took off again. Okay, so I need to go this way. Come on. There we go. Watch out, guys. Not that way. Ezio, come on. <laughs> 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 
Guard loses treasure to the Pope and was moving in flames and on the Volpe. I mean, what's more likely... I'll, after the finish, I'll, I'll reply to that. Hey, look, they're opening the tombs. I was just a little early. A little early. Grip that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Buona fortuna. Buona fortuna. Fortuna. But yeah, guard loses treasure uh, uh, from the uh, the Pope was moving blames it on the Volpe. More likely than not, what happened was the Pope sold whatever the treasure was, and then uh, used some of the money to pay off the guards, and then they all lied about it. Cause I mean, popes are not necessarily above reproach, especially. Um. Ow! That was a little more of a solid landing than I was intending. Anyway, um... Especially in the, you know, history. Uh, in the era of this, popes were not necessarily as holy as they pr claimed themselves to be. An assassin symbol with a skull in the middle of it. Dun dun dun! Infiltrates, infiltrate Santa Maria Novella's catacombs to reach the Templar meeting. I am now notorious. Guards are on high alert. Okay. If I remember correctly, there is some... Some, uh... I think this is... I think this is what I'm... The one I'm thinking about. Where I have to catch a guy before a certain point in order to avoid a fight. It's missing a sign, assassin's de assassin death trap, assassins only. I mean, technically, that's what that symbol is. It's a skull with an assassin symbol around it. Any, it's vague enough that oh, it's specific enough that assassins would know exactly what it means. Whereas it's vague enough that nobody who's not an assassin would not bother it because it's got a skull on it. All right, I have to find a way through the collapsed citadel. Can I go over here? No. Okay, I think I remember what I need to do, but like, yep, 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 okay. Okay, make sure there's not anything of value around. Because sometimes they like to put treasure in here. And I don't think I can actually come back in here once I've completed them. I don't remember for sure. Okay, so there's some stuff there that I can interact with. Fire down there. I, I am actually going to just go down. Just because... It looks like it wants me to go up. Or not. Okay. Yeah, it looked like it wanted me to go up, but apparently not. Um. Oh, right, 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 right. I'm remembering now. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, where's the... There it is. Right in front of my face. Uh, just a reminder, um, because I have Nightbots, uh, Nightbot on, um, in, uh, on my Twitch now, um, you can access various commands and various other things like that. Um, for more information, there's the link. Okay, here's a lever. Let's pull the lever and see what happens. Let's hope it's not the wrong lever. It apparently was not the not wrong lever. We shall see. Oh, I love the cape thing. It was apparently not the wrong lever. 
Um, oh, this is where I came from. So it was the wrong lever. <laughs> it just brought me back here. It was the wrong lever. <laughs> Lol. Okay. Um, cause I don't think I've ever actually gone in there and pulled that lever, because I don't think I've ever realized that there was a way to circle back that way. All right, let's go up. What's up here? Is there anything up here? There's a lever up here. This one's the right lever. You did tell me, and I didn't listen. I have nobody to blame but my own damn self. Can't even blame Ezio on that one. For that one. English. All right, so I'm here. It wants me to go over here. Okay. And if I remember correctly, it's these ones that it's it's um it's not in Assassin's Creed 2 that they have uh, specialty things for it. I was remembering that this is the one where I have to catch the the running guy. How long do we have to stand here, Saverio? It's so cold. What do you want, Ilario? Messer Pazzi is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. I mean, you're not wrong. The, the dead won't try to murder you. I might. Okay, 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 okay. I think I remember how this goes. I think, I think, I think, I think. Let's just explore around, make sure there's no treasure chests. Uh, I know I know for a fact that in Revelations, they do some... Um, they put collectibles in these kinds of uh, explorational tomb areas that you can only get when you play them, and so you have to, like, restart the... And you can only play them in the one sequence. Oh, shit. Hey, man. Okay, this guy over there. Let's do... Oh, I can't use those. For whatever reason. Why can't I use those? Maybe they're a little too noisy. Whatever. Um, the uh, collectibles in future. Don't see me. I know these things are transparent, but don't see me. Oh, you've got your back to me. Okay, fine. I'll just. I was gonna be cool and air assassinate you, but you moved and I pushed the wrong button, so that works. Um, I feel like I need to move that body. Uh, yeah, I should go back and move that body. My my instincts are my 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 stealth instincts are telling me to go move that body. Ezio, let go. Oh, loot, yes, loot the body first. So technically we're both at fault for your unstylish death. Yes, exactly! I kind of want that on a shirt now. <laughs> Ooh! That's a, uh, an assassin's hood right there. Huh. Cool. Nice detail I've never noticed before. Alright. So what I was supposed to do was come up here, and then over here, and then, like, air assassinate him, essentially. But... Shit happened. So... You know what? Can I... Loot you, too? And just, just cause, just, just for the purpose of being tidy. Just for the purpose of being tidy.
and yep it went in good uh remind since i actually have uh, a viewer now um this is specifically a reminder for howie because <laughs> i said it earlier and i'll probably say it, i'll try to remember to say it again a couple uh, later in the stream but um i have tomorrow tuesday i will be beginning my hey look a treasure um I will be beginning my Tomb Raider streams. I will be beginning with classic Tomb Raider 1 from 1996, uh, which I actually got to work, thankfully. Um, I got it to work, and I got uh, I figured out a way to make OBS. Come on, Ezio. To make OBS work with it, and I'm really psyched. Um, so Tuesday, starting at 6, I think I said, yeah, 6 p.m. Uh, Central Time, um, I will be playing to the original Tomb Raider for two hours. And it will be a weekly thing at two, on Tuesday, though the time itself is subject to change based on schedules and stuff like that. Um, but I will be playing Tomb Raider tomorrow night and every Tuesday night after that. Um, and yeah, or at least as many as I can. Um, so... You know, join me, have fun, watch me make a fool of myself with the very uh, shitty ass controls from 1996 PlayStation era games, or 1996 era PlayStation games. That's English, vaguely English. Is there a chest in here? Nope. Okay. Okay, so wanted me to come here. Where do I go? Oh. Okay, 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 okay. And now we'll do this. Merda! The door! Keep watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here. If I hear anything, I'm running to the other guard post. So help me God! Okay, so stealth. Go figure. Okay, so there should be two guards. And because they don't have... I've hidden the bodies, they don't find them. So let's... Oh, three guards. Okay. Four, technically him. Alright, man, come here. Or don't. And I can't whistle. Are you going to come here? You are going to come here. Hey. Okay, well, I stayed out of cover way too long. I see him. This is going well. This is this is going well. Ezio. I swear Ezio. What what is Ezio, what is happening here? God. Is this Eccolo? There! There! Ezio, stop hopping out over there, dude. Uh. Where the hell did, did you Dude, I'm literally right in front of you. Finally, God! God damn, that took way too long. <laughs> okay. See you in a bit, Howie. That was also way too loud. That guy definitely heard that. And yet he's still standing there. Rip. Okay. So you'll just be hearing my random commentary and about... And my failing. It's all good. What's hilarious is that that guard is still technically alive down there. Otherwise he wouldn't show up as red. Saverio! I'll be back with the other guards! Yeah, that was inevitable. 
find a way out before he kills me. Run past that. Okay. Look for shortcuts. Look for shortcuts. Oh! And not falling. Not falling is good. Ezio, come on. I'm base again. Not by much, man. Yes. Yes. I think I got to have to find a way out before it kills me. Come on, Ezio. Damn. So close. Ezio, you're faster than this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Success, bitch! All right. Loot the corpse. Four florins. Not worth it, but hey, better than nothing. Oh, man. Okay. Do I go in there and try to kill them? I forget if there's anything in there worth getting. I wish I... Oh, I wonder. Is that enough to... Nope. Okay. That was just a waste of money. And I still can't use those. So... Uh... Oop, wrong button. Come on, Ezio. There we go. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in there that I. Uh, fuck it, I'll kill him. And because I hate using the malls. Get fucked. Is there anything in here that is valuable? Nope. Okay. Well, I just killed a bunch of useless guards. It's okay. They were stupid. And they were working for the Templars. So, you know, I'm okay with it. Time to eavesdrop on the Templar meeting. Et benedictio Dei Omnipotentes, Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti, Descendat super vos et maneat semper. Grazie, padre. Bernardo? It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as nobody's killed. A little late. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See, si. we'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? Impossible. The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son is murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. 
May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father, May the Father of, of Understanding guide us. guide us. Ooh, I do see a treasure. In the map. Look at that statue. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the Assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. Because he is canonically going to find all of these things, reunite them with their statues in their proper location, and get the Alta-Ear armor. All right. So it wants, it wants me to go over there. That's obvious. Um, okay. Allons-y. You play action completed. Really? I've already completed all of the challenges and gotten all the rewards and all the achievements and everything. Whatever. Maybe it'll just always tell me when I do that. Oh, yeah, it'll just it just it'll always tell me because I know where Francesco will be and when. Yeah, cuz that's where it happens. What is it? I overheard something. They have weapons enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Mm. Typical of Sixtus, but... What Sixtus. the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici, and it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of High Mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd, get close, and stop this madness. If they succeed, if we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi, it will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right. Sorry, I'm just uh, reading a thing. So I'm wanting to make. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Um. Oh, I'm back here. Okay. Oh, that's shiny. It's shiny. Only 75 gold. That is not worth doing. There was another one over here, but I'm not going to do it because it's only 75 gold. That's... I get more than that just walking around and pickpocketing people. Alright. Um, I love that the Volpe was waiting at the one place that he knew... You know, it's like he's been in there before. Anyway. Um... Okay, I have a memory over here, and I and there it is finally officially marked the other tomb that I knew existed that I checked out before. So I can go do that. I'm gonna go do that, and then I'm gonna go hit the memory. I think. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome. I I see I have yet an, I have a new a new viewer. Welcome. Well, not necessarily a new viewer, but another viewer. Welcome, welcome. If I know you, say hi. If I don't, still say hi. Bring me your sick and next time then. Bona fortuna. Come, 
I. There we go. Okay. I want to buy that. Well, it, that 75 gold gave me a free. Uh, well, not a free, but might as well have been free. Um, fucking. Uh, shit, what's it called? Apothecary thing. <laughs> rude, Howie. Rude. Oh, wait. Someone was shouting Assassino. Which means that that was a Borgia person. And he went... Unfortunately, I think he went this way. Uh, shit. I lost him. Damn it. I wasn't paying attention. The fastest way to get to gain money is to catch those Borgia Cori... Oops, sorry, lady. Other than the treasure chests is to uh, catch the couriers. Because they give you, like... Almost 2,000 florins every, for every one you catch. And they just randomly spawn all over the place. Um, what am I looking for? Obviously not him. Uh, yeah, the Borgia Courier got away. Oh, damn it. Sorry, lady. That was my bad. Thanks for catching me, though. Okay. Okay. Uh, repair, armor, nothing, well, yep, no, nothing new to buy, I think, well, yeah, nothing new to buy. Okay, still nothing new, and I didn't That's use any of that. And please come back and so come over here and see if I can't get that pouch. I can, yay! Alright. Oh, which pouch was that? Large medicine pouch, I can now buy more... Uh, apothecary supplies for health. Excuse me, coming through. Pardon me, pardon me, ladies. Excuse me, guards. Pardon me. Coming through. Oop. Sorry. Okay. I now have 15 health. Health. Ooh. Ooh. Yay. Come back here. Um. One of the most annoying things about the couriers, as well as with the pick uh, pickpockets, is the fact that they, um, that they're slower than you are. Which, I mean, makes sense because you're supposed to be able to catch them relatively easily. However, if you if you catch up to them way too quickly, you're not able to actually tackle them to get the money. You can have the because boat. they're in the middle of climbing something to get away from you right after finding you. Don't worry, man. I'm not going to kill you. You're just a courier. <sighs> All right. And yet, I have yet another. Uh, can't you just assassinate them and loot the corpse? You can't. Um, I don't know about assassinating. I think if you actually directly kill them, it does actually count as desynchronization because I think they count as civilians. I'm not sure, though. Um, but you can't, if they do die in the process of, um, chasing you, uh, of you chasing them, or whatever, if they die at any point in time, be it because they're being chased, or because, uh, and, and they fall, or because they're killed by a guard, or by you, yes, you can loot the corpse. However, I'm pretty sure if you directly kill them, then it's, not only is it notoriety on you, it's, um, what's it called? It's, um... Desynchronization. Like killing a normal civilian. I don't remember for sure. Basically, I never... Uh, basically, I did. I do remember tr killing them immediately because I'd forgotten that you could tackle them back when I first start played the game. And... Um, <laughs> it's the moral of the thing, dude. <laughs>
Ezio doesn't kill civilians, so why should I? I'm not even... That's a whole other argument entirely. I'm not even going to argue with you on that. Because that is... Oh my god. The game wants you to play it a specific way, and so you play it the way it wants you to play it. And when your men paint the dome, take care not to disturb any of the sacred relics in the lanterna on top. They are the most important artifacts in our church. Yes, yes, Padre. Just make sure to pay us the full sum for our work. Yeah, I believe it. However, I bet you then reloaded a save before you did that so that you could then, you know, interact with the townsfolk and complete missions and, you know, things like that. Don't disturb the relics at the top because they're very valuable. Hmm, I wonder where I'm about to go. I thought you could kill anyone, even... Uh, wait, you are talking about Skyrim, right? I thought you could kill anyone in Skyrim except for kids. I thought kids were unkillable. But I've only played, like, an hour of Skyrim. I've never actually got... I, I've only ever made it to the first Jarl and then, give, and then not did much beyond that, mainly because... Um, distractions. So, so yeah. If it's anyone, if anyone is part of a quest is un is unkillable. So it's oh, so it's like quest givers slash objectives and kids that are unkillable. Is that it? Really? I thought I I was under the impression that it was the alternative of that where it was it was actually famous infamous for how many you could kill. Ben. Now I have a way back up in case huh. I fall. Oh, Morrowind. Oh. There's a difference? I've never really exactly been into the the Elder Scrolls series. Um like they're awesome, and I recognize that they have importance in in uh, fantasy gaming genres and all of that. And Skyrim was groundbreaking. I just never really got into it, mainly because I never really had the time to get into it. Morrowind would tell you that you killed someone essential to the story, and that you just doomed the world. I mean, <laughs> I mean that's fair. <laughs> Um, I don't remember if Assassin's Creed Odyssey would let you kill just anybody or everybody. Um, I don't remember. I think... Can I climb that? No, it's it's tapestry. Um, it's prevent, it'll prevent me from walking off of it, but it's it won't let me climb it. But <laughs> Anyway, um, I don't remember if Odyssey lets you just kill anybody and everybody wantonly, including quest givers. Um... I do know that no quest givers can die. They can die. They they will respawn by the end of the day, but you can actually successfully kill them. Um, like they'll they'll respawn. Uh, you, like you'll have to leave the area and let a whole day pass before, but they will respawn. Um, I think they'll even. I think they might even have a different random random generated appearance, except for main quest givers but i don't remember it's been a long time since i actually only reason i know is because i tried it not tried it but like it happened because a bear a random bear attacked a random civilian and a guard that was a quest giver attacked it and uh, tried to defend the civilian and then died in the process of it um and usually if like a bear or something like that can kill then so can the player Usually. Not always, but usually.
My water bottle just dribbled down the front of me. Okay. Do I jump right over there? Is that where it wants me to go? I think so. To be honest, like, the the interior of this cathedral here is beautiful. Um, and I've been in many cathedrals that had similar designs, or at least had similar but much smaller concepts and things like that. Like, with the interior uh, columns like this and everything that, like, what Ezio's currently climbing on and stuff like that. Um, but I... And I've been in them and looked around them and everything like that. And I've, like, I've always wanted, like, even before I played Assassin's Creed, one of the things that I wanted to do was just fucking, like, climb all over the place. Because it looked like so much fun. That and I am hella irreverent. Uh, I am a hella irreverent personality. So, you know. Okay, so do I jump over there? I don't think I do. At least not yet. Um, yeah, I can't actually get anywhere over there, so I'm not supposed to go there. I go over here instead. I now have a fourth viewer. Welcome! Welcome, whoever you are. If I know you, pop in, say hi, please. If not, um, if you don't do that, that's fine. I understand. If I don't know you, pop in, say hi. That's fine. I want new friends. Because the ones I have are mean to me. Um, actually, no. Howie's great. Don't, don't encourage him, he's unbearable. Yeah, I am. I am actually severely unbearable. Um, I can be. Hey, Mr. Generic! Um, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. How's your day been going, man? Okay, over here. And then up. Oop, too far. Or was that right? Can I go up? Oh, I can go up. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, and then I know it. And then it wants me to go over here. Welcome, Lurker! Work today? Cool, cool. How he had the day off, the bum. Um, my day's been doing alright. Um, I started my, uh, my... The beginning of my stream was a little flustered because um, I... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? I... I didn't run into technical difficulties, per se, but I did... Like, I did have a little bit of trouble with OBS. Um, uh, and but I was running a little behind, is all. And so it flustered me a little bit and got and made me have a little bit of a late start. I would be fired if Rose was able to make it today. How was work? Was work good? Or was it, you know, work? go down or do I go over I think okay I want to get that there's a treasure over there I want to get that so I'm gonna go down and then climb up uh, since I have more viewers now I will um, I want to say that tomorrow I have a new thing happening um, I have a, uh, I have a, um, a, a new day of streaming that I'm starting that begins tomorrow. Uh, I will not be playing more Assassin's Creed tomorrow. I will be playing, um, uh, what's it called? Tomb Raider. 
I'll be playing the original classic Tomb Raider from 1996. Yes, that old ass one that sparked the puberty fueled fantasies of an entire generation of males. Um, <laughs> and, uh. And answered the question Can polygons be hot? Can geometry be hot? The answer is unsurprisingly, anything can be hot if you're puberty filled if you're puberty fueled enough. And probably some female fantasy. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Hope hopefully some female fantasies, you know. But um yes, so tomorrow starting uh, starting tomorrow, I will be also be I will be beginning what I've been what I have begun calling Tomb Raider Tuesdays. I will be going through the entirety of the Tomb Raider series, not just the classic, but also the uh, the first reboot and the second reboot, as well as potentially, uh, one of the mobile games. And by one of the mobile games, I mean... Yeah, 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 but to be fair, they were going to rage about games anyway. Like, they would if it wasn't Tomb Raider, they would have found something else. I mean, they rage against Pokemon. So, I mean... But, um... That was the first Sexy Lady Rage, was it? Was it, though? I don't know. I was six when it came out, so I don't know. Um... For the spine ripping, as well as some of the sexy lady stuff. Because there was a lot of sexy ladies within uh, uh, Mortal Kombat, too. Um. <laughs> D&D, de Devil Worship. Yeah, I wish I could say that the... Um, that the... Uh, What's it called? <laughs> I wish that I could say things have changed, but they haven't. Was this... I don't remember. Hey, Howie. Do you remember? Is this, uh... Amunet? Is this who I'm thinking it is, or is this the other one? Yeah, I don't remember if it's the poison, if uh, she's the poison, or was the snake. Do you remember? You think I mean, it was the snake? Okay. Okay. I couldn't remember. So this is not her tomb. This is the other one's tomb. Um... When I get there, I hope I remember that I wanted to actually poke around a little bit to see what they included in it, uh, for context. <laughs> I opened a, uh, I opened a sarcophagus and pulled out a thing, and a window just happens to unlock and open. Ah, oh, yes, Caligula. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. The Il Duomo's Secret. Um, anyway, so the, uh, but yeah, so to, uh, to, back to my promo, tomorrow I will be playing Assassin's Creed, uh, not Assassin's Creed, wow, I will be playing Tomb Raider, so please come join me as I visit, visit Nostalgia, actually. Um, not Tomb Raider 1, but Tomb Raider 2 was one of the first, uh, PlayStation games I ever played. Um, it came with my PlayStation 1 that I got way back when, um, I had to get it, I got it used, um, after the PlayStation 2 had come out, and it came with a bunch of the, a bunch of games that the guy was getting rid of, um, and... 
there were only a couple of them that I was actually interested in, and one of them was Tomb Raider. Because um, I'd heard about it from a couple of friends, and so I figured I'd give it a shot. And, uh... Yeah. It began... I would say that that was the first game that actually began me on my path to becoming to being an actual gamer, uh, because of the fact that pre I'd play game I'd played games previously, but I'd not been like as into it. Um, I'd pre I'd played um, I'd had a Sega Genesis and played some of that. I'd had an uh, one of the original Ataris and played some of that. Um, on the Genesis, I played Sonic the Hedgehog and loved the Sonic the Hedgehog series and still do. Um, and I pl other than other than that though I only really played like Star Trek or Star Wars ba uh, video games, and um, yeah, so Tomb Raider was really the first step outside of the normal that I'd already set up for myself when it came to video games, and um, it was one it hooked me essentially. So basically, I'm here today because of Tomb Raider. I have to locate Francesco de Pazzi. Uh, should I go up and get an eye of aerial view? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go up and get an aerial view. Ezio. Ezio. Well, oh, am I not allowed to get an aerial view? Apparently not. There's Lorenzo, his wife. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? There he is. Time to strike. Crepa! Daddy Dory! Giuliano! No! 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 Do what I'm telling you to do, Ezio. Oh shoot! Right, I have to defend. That's right. I'm going the wrong way for what I'm need what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I'll catch up on chat in a second. So you have to pay. Ah, not now. I need help first. To my home. Uh, people I trust. Uh, can you? Ah. On me. I'm losing a lot of blood. Hang on, signore. I'm moving as fast as I can. Oh, 
Doctor! Francesco De Pazzi! I'll kill you. I'll wipe his entire family from the city. Tell me your race! Cuidatevi, signore. Conserve your race. Lorenzo de Medici, ruler of Florence, simultaneously keeping the dream of the Florentine Republic alive while leaving the people with very little legitimate power. Lorenzo de Medici deftly ruled Renaissance Florence during its golden age. Um, uh, Lorenzo's grandfather, Cosimo, built the Medici Bank, creating one of the most powerful financial institutions in Europe, becoming fam fabulously rich in the process. Considered the, the smartest of the Cosimo grandchildren, Lorenzo was already being sent on diplomatic missions as a child. Although his father was inept and sickly, his mother was a poet. She introduced Lorenzo to many of the prominent artists of the day, instilling in him a love of art and culture. Uh, and history and stuff and things do i want to actually go through this all thing no nah, i don't think i do um lawrence of medici that was real person from history um all right to actually catch up on chat now uh generic name asked about uh opinion on sonic adventure 2 um unfortunately i had to miss the sonic adventure games um, because I, I, I missed out on the Dreamcast. Um, I played a little bit of them, uh, cause you know how, uh, like stores like Walmart or Toys R Us or whatever would have like a, a console that you could stand there and play and test certain games and stuff. Whenever, whenever I was at a store, that's where I would be because that's where we would get the more recent, um, that's where we would get the most recent, uh, uh, access to the most recent video game stuff. And unfortunately, I could not, um, I could not actually afford, we, we could not afford the newer consoles at the time. And so, I had to miss out on Sonic Adventure and the Dreamcast. Um, okay, fine. Um, uh, but yeah, so I had to miss out on Sonic Adventure 2. Unfortunately. And I, I regret it. I have it on Steam now, I just haven't gotten around to playing it. Um. And, uh. Yeah, I've got it and the original on Steam. So I'll get there eventually. I had hoped more than capable of hunting down. I've not heard that. The, um... Oh! Damn it! Sorry, Lorenzo. Lorenzo has been wounded. Aprite la porta. What's the password? Polizia, open the maledetta porta. By the Christ, greatest, come in quickly. The city is at war. Hurry. Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh... 
Um, Francesco de Pazzi. Yeah, I'll uh, help save our I'll I'll have I'll I'll, I'll I'll get around to it eventually. Um, my favorite Sonic game that's not one of the originals. Um, Poliziano. Interesting. Scholar and a poet in addition to a guard. Interesting. Um, Francesco de Pazzi. Francesco de Pazzi. Brought up as a noble in a city captivated by the newly rich Medici family, Francesco was taught to hate the yeah. class and its social class. Um, Dismayed, he watched as the Medici bank eclipsed his own. Yeah, I'm aware of that, and that's the, over the, the same thing with, like, Tomb Raider and stuff like that. It looks like the Spaniards um, him a solution. Rather and hell, even Assassin's Creed. Banking, if it wasn't Francesco for the, uh... Had to do one thing for the Templars. One thing the, um, to put the middle class in their place for good. Kill the, the remasters Medici. and the and the Giovanni upgrades Alditori that Ubisoft has been giving Francesco to the older games, they would not be the they would not hold that. up well to time. Same with the which, which is something that I noticed with the original Assassin's Creed uh, when we played it when I was playing it earlier. Yeah, yeah. The especially the voice acting in spe in particular was like if I remember correctly, at least for Sonic Adventure Battle Two. Or Adventure 2 battle, um, it was uh, the voice. Act they were coming out at the time that voice acting was only just being introduced to games, and so they was they were indeed very. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? They were indeed very rough around the edges. The same is true with things like uh, ooh, a Borgia guy. Um. See, I can't catch him right now because he's on a on a thing. So. Okay. There we go. Um. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the uh, unfortunately, a lot of the more recent, especially the 3D ones, a lot of the 3D Sonic games have been very glitchy. Um, like I've played Sonic Heroes, and while it's a great game uh, with an int with interesting concepts, it can be very glitchy. In fact, I had I got stuck. I haven't I had to stop playing it because of how glitchy it was. Um, it wouldn't let me. Uh, I kept glitching through the ground and ki and dying whenever I reached a specific spot. <laughs> you think you could beat me? I'll beat you! Yes. Um, I think I've heard you guys say that at each other at D&D sometime. But I don't remember. Anyway. Um, oh, it was Tails. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Anyway. Um, but yeah, so like even the more modern ones are still a little glitchy. Um... But my official favorite uh, Sonic the Hedgehog game of the more modern ones that was not one of the classics, because my, my favorite overall is still forever going to be Sonic 3, and uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, um, which is the combined cartridges for the Sega Genesis. Um, but the, uh, the one that is my favorite one of the more modern ones is actually Sonic Generations. Um, that, at least out of the ones that I've played. Sonic Generations. And it's, I've, I understand that that's apparently a bit of a controversial choice. Because apparently people didn't like Sonic Generations. But I loved Sonic Generations. Um, and it was, it was an equal, am equal amount of nostalgia meets modern gameplay. Is it pretty well loved? Because, like, I've heard, I've seen and heard nothing but shit talking about it. Um, like, I think it, I think it's one of those games where it's like, if you're nostalgic for the classic games, yes, the the Were Hedgehog one and Sonic 06 were are are hated a lot but i think but i've i've seen more hate for generations 
Um, but I think it was, I really think it's one of those ones where it's like, if you hated it, if you grew up with it, you, you loved it. And it, uh, if you grew up with it and didn't ha and don't hate the 3D Sonic gameplay, then you loved it. If you, um, and if you grew, if you didn't grow up with it, um, or, or if anything else, then you didn't care for it. I think, I think that's my, uh, yes, Unleashed. Thank you. The so uh, Sonic Unleashed was the Were Hedgehog one. Um, it's almost 4.30. I'm going to kill Francesco, and then we'll call it there. Um, I, I'm honestly surprised that you've heard good things from the community about Generations, because I've heard nothing but trash, <laughs> trash talk about it. Um, granted, I'm probably not as in, in the community as you may be, but anyway. Um... The, uh, the, um, yeah, I, I went on a, I, I got, like, all of the Sonic games that are currently available on Steam on, on a sale, uh, at one point, and so I have them all, to some degree or another, um, and that includes the more recent one, I think, um, I don't think Colors is available on Steam. I could be wrong about that. And I, and, um, but, anyway. Let me focus on this so that I can power through it and wrap up the stream. Cause, so that I don't go too far over again. I have to go up. Actually, if you guys will bear with me, I will have to be right back. Sorry. I'm not even going to put it to... Actually, I will put it to intermission screen. So, be, bear with me. I will be right back. Sorry about that. Uh, I had to step away for a second. Um, Boom was the animated series that came out, right? Or am I thinking of something else? You again? Why aren't you dead? Man, slaughter him! Okay. Because I've heard that the series itself is... Act like, the animated series itself is pretty good. Um... But the, uh, but the, uh, here, let me get rid of my notoriety here. Um, first the game, then the series. But yeah, I'd, I'd heard the, uh, I've heard the series is good. And if I remember correctly, Travis Willingham is the voice of Knuckles. Um, And I think one or two other Critical Role people are, are in it as well. Um... Let you get it! Um... 
Ezio. Come on. Do what I'm telling you to do, Ezio. Get off me! Yes, I know you're getting shot in the back, Ezio. Don't let him escape. And now you're getting shot in the front. After him. Um, colors. I think I rented colors once. That was for um, Game Boy Advance, right? Oh, was it the... Shit, what's it called? The, um... Come on, Ezio. Oh, my God, Ezio. Really? There we go. Um, Wii U? Maybe. It may, it may be one of those games that had multiple platforms that it was released on, but I thought it... Cause I, I'm probably thinking of something else on, uh... On Game Boy... On Game Boy Advance. DS, that might be what I was thinking of. Cut! Cut! No one's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto, che il diavolo ti porti! Damn it, damn you to hell, get the hell away from me. Chase and assassinate Francesco the Pazzi. I love that he did a full on leap of faith. Ezio, get off the railing. There we go. Advance! That's the one I was thinking of, too. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was thinking of Advance. Uh, on Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Game Boy Advance? Sonic Advance. Uh, funny how that works. Yeah, I liked Advance, too. Um... Oh, I forget. What's the more recent one that they came out with? There was two that they came out with in the same year. There was... It's over. It's all over. I mean, let the cutscene finish and then I'll continue that thought. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiesca in pace. Um... Libertad. 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 Francesco. Ooh, damn. Stripped nude and hung by the neck off the building. Yes, yeah, Sonic Mania was one of them, but there was another one that came out. There was Sonic Mania, which was basically the fan-made um, redo of... Not redo, but um, fan-made using the assets from the classic games uh, game. And it was... And Sonic Mania is amazing. Is am oh, well, it was... It started as a fan-made thing. It was then adopted and made official, uh, which is one of the reasons it's so cool, because it started as a labor of love by the fans in the modding community, um, and then was picked up by them and uh, made official. It wasn't Lost World. Um, it was the, It was literally announced the same E3. Uh, it was announced the same E3 as Mania. Um, maybe it was Lost World. Wait, no, no, no. Is there a game called Sonic Forces? Because I think, because that, I think that's the one my brain is is uh, trying to pull. Um, when I was six years old, I fell into the arm. If there's one called Sonic Forces, that's absolutely the one that I'm thinking of. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. 
and so began a long yes and prosperous I haven't played it yet but it's like an unofficial it's I've heard it's basically the same style as generations I am sorry, it's just I not and it's more or less a brothers. sequel to you it have nothing to apologize for I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths and as well. yeah it I need to find him that coward fled before we could arrest him have you any leads no they've hidden themselves well they Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape if they work with Jacopo they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well give me their names Antonio Maffei Archbishop Francesco Salviati Stefano da Bagnon and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene. I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait. I haven't had a chance to play go. Sonic Forces yet, but I will oh, get to it eventually. Page. I took it from the files of Francesco De Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity, as did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Il Signore ci protegga. Ezio made a friend, a friend of his father's, the Pazzi conspirators. Jacopo di Pazzi, the money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family, and he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de Medici, he had nothing against him personally, so he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo Friend. di Baroncelli yeah. brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins. Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnone. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de Medici in the back. Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined the Templars to seek revenge. It was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city. All right. Four to the floor. Lol. All right. And I believe it I believe it specifically wants me to go back to Monteregione. Oh, no. It wants me to go here. Oh, it wants me to go to Leonardo. Okay. Because I have a codex page. Um, there's assassination contracts. And... The memory there. So I, there are contracts in each district. I don't remember if they're unique to each district or if I if I can go to any of them and then get all the missions. But I'll, I'll figure that out when we get to it. So next time, um, since it's 4.30, I will, we will call it there, more or less. Um, the, uh, yeah, we'll call it there. Um, it's a little after 4:30, but I also got a little bit of a start, a late start, like I said, like I said before. Um, all right, so thank you for uh, sticking around and hanging out. Um, the uh, sorry, I'm moving windows around so that I can actually see, you know, OBS. Go figure. Um, <laughs> it's. Uh, yeah, next time we'll do those missions, the assassination contracts, and the, uh, I'll probably hit the assassination contracts first, and then do the, continue the main storyline. Um, in between, I will be going to test, I, in between now and next week, I will be, if I, if I have the free time, my next task for myself is to go into Tuscany and get the ch treasure chests and the collectibles in, uh, there. Um, and hopefully next time we'll be able, we'll be able to go back we'll have a little bit of ability to go back to Monte Regioni and uh, upgrade some stuff there, uh, do some work there, upgrade the city, upgrade, uh, purchase some things, etc. Um, so yeah, that'll be next uh, next week, next Monday, and but you will see me again tomorrow when I will be playing 
uh, if you if you come by, you will see me playing Tomb Raider 1, as I've said several times throughout the stream. Uh, it'll be beginning at 6 p.m. Central Time. So 7 Eastern and 4 Pacific, if I remember correctly. If I'm mathing that right. 6 Central. 6 p.m. Central Time. Um, I, but I will be playing Tomb Raider 1. The classic, the original, from 1996. Uh, so join me tomorrow and uh, watch me run around, uh, run some polygons around the screen. Um, oh, oh, Matt Green, I see you on the online friends watching watching me ha <laughs> twitch lets me stalk you ha 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 anyway um anyway thank you all for coming thank you all for coming and bearing with my bullshit today um uh remember that the that the vod of this stream will be going up on youtube hopefully no later than tomorrow morning hopefully um since my internet is now fixed it won't there shouldn't be any delays barring uh barring te uh, for further technical difficulties of other sorts um, or distractions that get in the way. So it should be up no later than tomorrow morning. I will be getting on that immediately after this stream ends. Um, the uh, brain is not working. Um, also available on my YouTube uh, is every prior stream, uh, which consists of Assassin's Creed 1, as well as an older playthrough of mine before I started streaming on Twitch um, of me playing the original uh, Mirror's Edge. Uh, so you can find those out on my YouTube. The, uh, the uh, English is a thing. Uh, the links are below. Um, that if you're on YouTube, it'll be down in the description of the video. Um, if you're on Twitch, they're down below in my link tree, et cetera, et cetera. They're also currently in the chat. Um, <clears throat> and if you are actually watching this on YouTube, please, 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 please like and subscribe um, if you enjoyed this. Uh, if you didn't, I'm sorry. Um, but you can, for this and future content, um, the, uh, Tomb Raider VODs will also be going up on YouTube afterwards as well. Uh, basically anything I stream will be going on YouTube, not, uh, will be going on YouTube afterwards. Um, so yeah, please like and subscribe on YouTube and for more, for more of things like this, of me and my stupidity. Um, also speaking of subscribing, you should follow me on my social medias. Um, I haven't really plugged them before, but the, um... But they are there. Um, I post updates for my streaming as well as just general shit posting, range uh, shit posting that ranges from uh, memes and uh, memes to various political retweets and posts and commentary and things like that. Um, uh, I'm most active on my Twitter, uh, with the occasional uh, stream update on Instagram. Um, I have a Facebook too, but you know that's not on the list because it's a bit more private. Well, not even private. It's more, um, I'm blanking on the word. Doesn't matter. Anyway, my socials, the links are down below. They're in my link tree and they are now, if you're on Twitch, in the Twitch chat. Um, so yes, please follow me over there for more information. Also, you should join my Discord. If you're not already a member of my Discord, you should join my Discord. Uh, the link, it, there's a link available in my link tree and in the chat and below and now in the chat, Twitch chat. Um, oh, and hey, hey, guess what? As I've already said, tomorrow, Tomb Raider, I will be streaming again I, uh, forever, more, two days a week. Um, I will try not to be going more insane than I already am. Because, <laughs> you know. I'm insane. Um, and Howie, if, if you're still here and Yvonne asks, yes, I'm still on script. I actually wrote all of this out. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I'm actually really excited for to, uh, for, to play the classic Tomb Raider because I was six years old when it came out. And that's because I'm old as fuck! Anyway! Um, so I, I went through some trouble, got the game to actually work properly with Windows 10 and all of that, and actually got it to work with OBS, which was a treat as well and i will be playing it using a controller rather than keyboard because the keyboard the p keyboard controls for the classic two Raider games kind of suck um i mean who uses alt for jump anyway um so yeah tune in next week um uh, tune in tomorrow for that and tune in next week same bat time same bat channel for more of crimson plays assassin's creed um, also, everyone should check in, uh, should check out my friends Yvonne B, Melador, uh, Eternity, and Cosplay Katie. Their URLs are on screen now. And, um, yes, I'm a dork. I had to snap my fingers for that. It's, it's by law. Um, <laughs> uh, they, their URLs are on screen. Um, and the uh, links are in the chat, as, well, will be in the chat as I go, because reasons of things. I'll be putting them in the chat as I talk, essentially. Um, and they will be down below in, link, in my link tree, in the YouTube description, and uh, like I said, in the Twitch chat and as, as I talk. Um, Yvonne streams every Friday and Sunday with the occasional Wednesday and Thursday, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, I know for sure Friday and Sunday, and I know that she has done an occasional Wednesday stream. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, on Friday at around 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, not Central, Eastern time, uh, she uh, streams... I think she's been... Howie, you're still here. Uh, has she still been trying to stream Tales of Symphonia? Um, or is she putting that on pause or still doing that on Fridays? Is that what she does on Fridays? I think that's what she does on Fridays. Um, <clears throat> I don't recall... I think it. I think. I think what she's been doing on Fridays is that she's been playing some Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley until... Howie gets off, gets home from work, and Andor is available, and then they, the two of them play Tales of Symphonia. That's what I think she's been doing recently, on Fridays at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Um, on the occasional Thursday, at least starting, starting this last Thursday, uh, she posted that Howie himself her, has actually taken, has started taking over her channel at. Um, I don't know if the time is going to be consistent, but last week at 4.30 p.m., he took over and played some Factorio. So I don't know if you're still planning on doing that on a, on the regular, Howie, or not, but uh, he's been doing that. Um, also, on Sundays, Yvonne does kind of like an island tour on Animal Crossing New Horizons, where she goes to various people's islands, and they're in the Discord with her, and they... And they talk about their islands and show her around and things like that. I think that's what they do. Unfortunately, I've been too busy to actually see one because life. Um, but yeah, uh, so check that out for uh, check her, uh, her. Basically, check her out for more information on her channels. Her, the link is now officially in the dis is now officially in the Twitch chat. And as I said, below, down below and on screen. Uh, Matt uh, Melador who I who I call who is known as Matt uh, has streams on Mondays and Wednesdays. Last I knew, I think he also occasionally does like a Tuesday, maybe a Thursday. I don't remember. Matt, if you're actually available available for response, um, please clarify. Um, please, I'm I'm a horrible friend. I keep forgetting to actually write down your schedule when you tell me it. Um, if you're not available available for comment now, I will poke you on, later on Facebook and try to actually write the damn thing down again because I forgot and then I lost it and, uh, and then I did it and then I lost it and yeah. Anyway, I'm a horrible I'm a horrible person and a horrible friend because I keep because I keep forgetting to actually write it down so I can recite it here accurately. But he's been playing Stardew Valley and Frostpunk. Um, but as of last week, he actually started playing Baldur's Gate three 
which was beautiful. Uh, it was massively beautiful um, and is amazing. Uh, his URL is on screen and is in the Twitch chat and etc. 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 Same as same places as Vaughn's, as I've already said. Um, Eternity streams pretty often too. He streams uh, very. He plays various things, and he streams whenever he's able to. Um, I don't think he has an actual schedule that he keeps to yet. Um, mainly because life is hectic. His URL is on screen um, and in the Twitch chat and in the in my link tree and down below. Uh, Cosplay Katie streams on Twitch uh, and is active on uh, Instagram. Her schedule is rather fluid. She, un, I'm, as far as I'm aware, she has not been do, uh, able to do any recent streams, um, but she's been popping in doing some Witcher and uh, Witcher Three and uh, some World of Warcraft uh, stuff. Um, she does uh, she's done some cos she's done cosplay she's gone to various cons and stuff um check her out uh her twitch url is on screen i debated about including her actual instagram url but um she's got it on her twitch channel so if you want to find her instagram you can just go to her twitch and give her a follow on instagram because her cosplays are pretty damn amazing um or if you're too lazy to do any of that and you just want to chill out and watch some stuff, whatever's going on, wh whether it's me or one of my friends, uh, you can join. You can pop in here and because uh, I will be because I host them whenever they stream, assuming there's no conflict. Um, so, yeah, you can pop in here and, fi and find them here uh, whenever they're online, assuming, again, no conflict. Um Moving on, if you're in the United States, please don't forget to vote. Um, it's coming up really quickly, uh, and uh, it's an it's a very important election. Um, I won't tell you who you, I won't tell you who you should vote for, but voting matters. Um, decide for yourself who you want to vote for, but voting and voting matters. It does matter. Um, if you're not sure if you're allowed to vote, you can look it up online. Um, there are places where you can check your, uh, voting registration and things like that. Um, I don't know if it's too late to register to vote, um, in stuff because each state in places, because each state has their own different deadline for that. Um, but you can check the link I just put in the Twitch chat, which is usa.gov register to vote, uh, usa.gov slash register to vote. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, you can you can. So if you go to that, um, or if you just Google it, you'll find the information you need. But make sure, please, 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 if you're eligible, please vote. And if you're not in the United States, um, make sure you vote in your local in your local elections, assuming you're allowed to. Um, their voting matters. Voting is important. Um, I know it doesn't always feel like it, but it does. It does matter. Um, and yeah, so, um, this last bit, this last bit is very important. So make sure you guys play, pay very close attention to this. Remember that you matter. You do. Don't forget about that. You, you matter. You are important. You are loved. And you deserve to be loved. In these rough, in these rough, dark times, you, you have to take care of yourself. Taking time off from things, be it social media, streaming, fighting for your right to live, whatever. Taking time off from it for your own mental health is a good thing. Your physical and mental health matters. Um, I have crisis resources available. Um, if I can spell the word. There we go. Um, I have crisis resources available in my link tree, uh, which, as I keep saying, is down below. Um, and... Uh, so go th go there if you need them. Um, <clears throat> they're li they include links to. Uh, they're also listed in the uh, Twitch chat. They include links to. Um, um, what's the word? Ah, to suicide pre uh, pre links for suicide prevention, substance abuse, domestic abuse, sexual assault. Uh, please check those out if you need them. They're in the chat now. Um, and they're also in my link tree down below and the like. 
Um, unfortunately, the links that I've provided are, as far as I'm aware, are only available in the United States. Um, but also, as far as I'm aware, if you Google it, most countries have their own version of it. So if you're outside of the United States, just pop it into Google and, you know, figure it out. It is, I'm sure there are, there are resources available to you. Um, wear a mask, wash your hands, keep, keep at least six feet away from me, from others because, you know, COVID-19, COVID not 16, COVID-19, uh, COVID is legal. Well, wow, I can't believe I just referred to it as legal, as in over 18. That's where my brain is. My brain is fried. Anyway, so COVID-19 is still here and it is getting worse. There are people in power who are brushing it off as if there's... As if there's nothing to worry about. But if you've got, if you've been paying attention, even in the most remote sense of the of the concept, you'd you've you'd plainly see that it's it is something that you really should be worried about. Uh, be safe, be kind, and be empathetic towards those around you. Just because they're wearing a mask doesn't mean they're safe from you. They're protecting you by wearing that mask, and it's only right that you show them that same level of respect and consideration. Have empathy. Be kind, love yourself, and love everyone around you. And I will see you next week. Actually, tomorrow. I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.